Well, something big is happening inside NASA's biggest building. The launch may have been delayed again, but workers inside the vehicle assembly building are still pressing ahead, getting the second space launch system rocket ready for astronauts to fly around the moon. New 6's James Barbero was part of the media today, given special access to get up close to SLS inside the VAB. Well, as if being in one of the largest buildings in the world by volume doesn't make you feel small enough, there's a rocket in here right now that makes you feel just as tiny. I'm pointing up at High Bay 2. This is the 200 foot tall core stage booster of the SLS Artemis 2 rocket. Sitting right in front of their booster is the Artemis 2 crew. They're about to talk to us. Most important, it's time to get all of that effort focused on flying no later than April 2026. And so that, to me, is now the point. So as expected, the astronauts were asked about the future of SLS, the uncertainty with administrations changing, with a new NASA administrator coming in, Jared Isaacman. Will he make big changes to the Artemis program and SLS, which, by the way, NASA's own Office of Inspector General has called unsustainable. So while the teams aren't going to talk about that here today, I still wanted to ask this question to one of the mission managers. Amit, with all the uncertainty in the future, how do you do your best to stay focused on the task at hand and keep your team focused on the work you're doing right now? Well, that's a great question. I think the, the, way, the way that we do it is we just recognize just how incomparably complex this task is. I don't think anybody here has any time to think about anything else other than getting this vehicle processed, getting it rolled out to the pad, and flying the crew safely, frankly. This is where they built rockets and sent hum humans to the moon the first time. And now I'm standing in that building, looking at the core stage that my crew and I are gonna ride on and fly to the moon. And so, am I excited? <laughs> I'm super excited. It's an extraordinary opportunity. So next up, NASA will stack the 17-story solid rocket boosters, like right there, and put the core stage booster right in the middle, like I saw ahead of Artemis 1. Finally, ahead of launch, the rocket will be rolled out of High Bay 3 in the direction of Pad 39B. Again, that new launch date isn't until April of 2026. At NASA's Kennedy Space Center, I'm James Sparvero, getting results new 6. What a cool thing to get to the see. The scale in there yeah, is wild. Yeah, it's crazy. It has its own little it, clouds can form <laughs> near the top of it.